Hi fitness friends, thanks for joining me today for my Cardio Blast workout. Let's get started. Let's warm up by just starting to move those feet. So do a little jog in place here. Start bringing those feet out a little bit wider as you continue to jog, and then just take those hands out and start pushing the water here. We want to start warming up the entire body, so using the upper body is recommended. All right, let's start doing some wide and narrow jogging. So your legs are going to go wide and then narrow, wide and narrow, and then try to follow those arms along with the legs. So as your legs go wide, arms go wide. As your legs go narrow, those arms push forward. Bring those feet wide, and then we're gonna take this into what I call a butt kick. You're gonna start bringing those heels up behind you. So wide stance, heels are coming up in an alternating fashion, and then start drawing those hands forward. So you're gonna crisscross them in the front, open, crisscross, open. We just wanna get the upper body involved. Let's keep those feet going here. So these heels are coming up behind you still. And we're gonna take those hands and punch them down towards the floor. So punch down, right, left. Really tall with your posture. Make sure the shoulders are up, back, and down, and relaxed. Now I'll start bringing those heels back down towards the floor, but we're gonna do more of like a wide march into more of a pendulum here. So keep the feet really wide. And then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna start penduling right and left and reaching through those fingers, reaching through those toes as we wanna open up the sides of the body. Keep the pendulum legs, but then bring those hands together forward, together. And you're gonna start doing the infinity side, which is the figure eight sideways. So we can really warm the upper body even more. Now, as you're doing your pendulum, you're just gonna go ahead and turn your body to the left. And then you're gonna start with a rocking horse. So we're gonna do the rocking horse, knee up. Then the back leg is gonna do a hamstring curl. You're gonna push the water and pull. Push on the lean down, pull on the lean back. Go ahead and bring your torso forward and just go back to those pendulum legs for a moment. Yep, wide legs. And then let's go ahead and turn to the right now. So we're gonna go into our rocking horse now with the other side. So we're gonna do our lean with the push and that pull back and make it really strong here, everybody. your torso back forward into those pendulum legs again and then let's bring those legs in closer so more of a narrow leg stance here and go back into a jog and put your hands out in front of you so we're going to have them out right in front of you and we're going to bring those knees up nice and strong so we're going to try to use that hand as a target so bring those knees up but keep your really tall posture once you get those high knees, let's go ahead and do double high knees. So two right high knees, two left, and they're little pulses, so they're quick. Take it back into your strong jog, everybody. Reminder, we have those abs in tight, shoulders relaxed and down, and we're gonna widen up those feet. 
plant your feet down and then let's bring those hands back together and let's swing them across the surface of the water. So swoop all the way from the right to the left and then all the way from the left to the right. And as you do, you want to make sure you pivot through your hips. So pivot the hips, rotate through. This means that your feet aren't glued to the floor. And then let's add a little bit more here by making our figure eight here. So we can really get into the sides of the body and warm up our core. Turn to the left and then bring that right knee up. So you're going to do a knee drive up as you alternate your arm reaches. So knee drive with a tap to the floor, knee and tap to the floor. Let's add a little kick as well. So we're going to extend through the leg to stretch our hamstrings. Use your arms to help you balance. A couple more. Go ahead and bring that next kick up forward and then hold underneath the thigh. Now while you have that leg out extended in front of you, circle the foot around a few times in each direction. We're stretching the hamstrings and we're getting into those ankles. Bring that foot down. Let's turn around to the other side and again that knee drive and bring it into an extension with a kick. Let's do that a few times using your arms to help balance you. Let's bring this next one up in front of us, hold underneath the thigh, and again, extend through the leg so we can get those ankles a big circle here, a few in each direction, and then bring the foot to the floor and widen up those feet. Stand with tall posture, round your back as you crisscross your hands in front, then open to a tall, strong posture and bring your hands out to the sides and continue. Round forward, crisscross, open, and then let's finish up with a couple shoulder circles. It's time for us to go grab our equipment. If you have two water buoys, let's get those now. Let's start with our first move here. Let's just go to some jumping jack legs. So out and in with those legs. And you're going to take those buoys and you're going to fly them out and in. So it's a chest fly. So what does a chest fly look like? It is a soft elbow and it's almost like a big old hug. So you're going to hug and open, hug and open. Now what you want to do is put an emphasis on that open with a squeeze in the back muscles and then a strong close, keeping your arms rounded as those legs keep on jacking. about 15 more seconds and we're moving on. Let's bring it down a notch. So you're going to come to just a jog here. So just a gentle jog, a little interval here. So we want to work hard and then bring it down for a little rest and then work hard again. So a little jog and then get yourself set up with your hands out in front of you. Now these are Frankenstein kicks, a right and a left. And as you kick the leg forward, then you're going to pull your arms down. So your hands are facing towards the floor, long arms in front of you extended and you just Roll them down towards the floor and then back up to the surface, down towards the floor, up to the surface as you alternate hopping from right to left foot. Now the bounding is definitely optional. You can do this low impact without bounding, but I find that the bounding is really fun. It's motivating and it's getting you those calories burned. Try to keep it upright, tall posture here. Relaxing those shoulders, that's super important. And pulling those abdominals as you draw those legs up. And guess what, you get about 20 more seconds of this move. Let's bring that intensity down and into a jog. 
So here, we're just going to jog it out and then go ahead and start bringing the left foot forward. So the left foot's a little bit more forward than the right and you're still doing a little bit of a jog. This is just setting us up for our next move, which is going to be your rocking horse. Now for rocking horse, we're going to do a chest press on your tip forward. It's going to be wide, push the palms to the floor, push down, and then as you push down, a hamstring curl, then as you lean back, you're going to drive that knee up. An option is staying in place. Another option for more intensity is to turn around in a circle. So go all the way around in one circle and then reverse your direction. Put your whole body weight into that push to the floor. You want to really push down strong and really curl that foot up behind you. It's a full body exercise. We have about 20 seconds. bring down that intensity. So now you have the right foot forward and we're going to a jog and we have the palms facing up on our next exercise. So let's get ourselves set up here. Take a nice cleansing breath. And then once you're ready, we're gonna start getting into that rocking horse. So it's a rocking horse right. You're gonna push the palms to the floor and you're gonna pull back for a nice strong row. Now with those palms, uh, they're gonna be, so the palms face the ceiling. And as you pull back, you're going to squeeze those back muscles and really draw them back strong. And again, let's go ahead around in that circle to give us some more intensity. Keep going strong, you only have about 20 seconds. Let's bring that intensity down again. Again, you want that cleansing breath. Just put those weights out in front of you here and just sit down for a few squats. Just a knee bend, down and up. You don't have to go underwater, just come down, submerge the shoulders, back up, down and up. Start bringing those arms out to your sides here and we're gonna do some jack legs, but they're crisscross jacks. So I want you to crisscross your feet in the center and then open, crisscross, center, open. And you're gonna also crisscross those arms, go crisscross them in the front, open, crisscross, open. So everything is crisscrossing in the center and opening and you're doing a strong jack. Make sure you keep that real tall posture, shoulders relaxed and down. Buoys can be down deeper in the water for more intensity. This is an awesome exercise for those inner and outer thighs, everybody. So if you're looking to tone that area, really good exercise. You always have the option of not crisscrossing if you want to keep it lower impact a little bit less. But if you can get those feet across, it's a really great thing. Let's go about 20 more seconds. Go ahead and plant those feet to the floor a little bit wider than normal and then just taking the shoulders with them relaxed and you're just going to push each of your buoys down right to the side and left to the side pushing down for a side bend on each side. We're just going to start warming up our core because we have some core work coming next. Alright, bring those weights to your center and you're going to hold them right in front of your chest, elbows out to the sides and you're going to start making a figure eight 
with your upper body. So you're going to go side to side, a little dip each direction. As you go down, you're pushing those weights, elbows leading the way on both directions, and you're going to use the core here. For added intensity, as you push down those buoys, you're going to bring the opposite leg out to the side, so you're going to pendulum your legs along with your figure eight of those buoys. Fifteen seconds. Let's set up for our next exercise by bringing both buoys into your left hand. So you can just crisscross the buoys here, hold them in your hand, and you're going to drive the arm across your midsection as you drive your right knee up. Now for this exercise, you want to stand wide and you want to drive the inner thigh towards the buoys as the buoys come in. You want to kind of try to tap the buoy to the inner thigh and then tap down as you open. Now draw it up, so bring your sole, the inside of that foot, up and inwards. Let's get those inner thighs. Fifteen seconds and then we're gonna switch sides. Let's bring the buoys into that right hand now. So again, you can always just use one buoy if you'd rather, but when you use two, it's more intensity. And let's bring it to that inner thigh again. Swoop that knee up and inward as you bring the buoys to meet it. And let's add a little extra bounding. You got the move now. Let's make it a little bit more intense. Twenty seconds. Let's bring those buoys both onto that left side. Reminder, you can always just do one buoy on the left side and push down. So you're using your really tall posture. These are just side bends. We're bringing our cardio rate down just for a moment here as we do some toning. So push down. Try to keep really tall as you push down. No forward or backward flexion, just pushing straight to the floor, up tall, push straight to the floor, and up tall. Those double buoys should be making you really feel the obliques, which are the sides of your body. You have about 10 more seconds here. Let's set it up with those buoys on the opposite side. And again, keep the shoulder relaxed and down so the elbow is out to the side and a little bit backwards behind you. And a strong push down towards the floor. Now you don't have to go excessively down, just to about those knees or so, and then back to the upright posture. You're going to get the both to the sides, inward and the outward sides of the body, which is very good for your core. Fifteen seconds. So 
set it up so that you have wide feet and you have both buoys together in front of you and you're holding on with both hands. Then we're going to circle. So push down, around and up, down, around and up. Try to keep a tall posture as you push this upper body exercise. Now there's options to make this more challenging. So not just circling those arms. Let's just start adding a little frog hop. Why not add a little extra calorie burn when we can, right? So as you do those circles, it's going to feel natural. You're going to just draw those knees up and then hop down, draw the knees up and then back down to the floor and keep it going. Try to drive those knees up wide and strong. Keep yourself up tall the whole time. 15 seconds. Our next move is called a cobra. So this one you can either have staggered feet or you can keep both feet planted in an athletic stance. Start with both palms at your thighs, face in with the palms, and you can open and rotate the shoulders outward for a big stretch to the chest muscles, and then bring the palms back to the lap. So open, stretch the chest muscles, squeeze the back muscles, bring it back to the lap. So opening and closing. Really focus on squeezing in those back muscles. Just two more here. Make sure you're doing your strong breathing. All right, let's go ahead and bring those weights out to the sides. And tall posture, and you're just gonna do a Frankenstein kick out in a V shape. So you're gonna keep the toes pointed up, and you can bring those legs, long legs, out to the right and left. We're just trying to stretch those hamstrings out for our next exercise. Just a few more here. Bring the buoys in front of you and just leave them at the surface. We're gonna do leg work now. So you're gonna take that right leg, you're gonna step back behind you into a curtsy. So it's back and angled in behind. Then you're gonna tap out to the right for a wide stance. Now that's low impact. For a higher impact, you're gonna take a curtsy back and then I wanna see a strong side kick out to that right side. So curtsy, side kick, curtsy, side kick really strong and then start moving those arms a right and a left just going to alternate those hands forward for some strong chest presses keep your core engaged seconds and then we're going to switch sides. So let's go ahead and reset and you're going to go ahead and plant that right foot. Left foot is going to do all the work. So you're going to left curtsy behind and then left tap to a wide stance or the curtsy to a side kick. And now it can just be a hip lift, so you don't have to kick. But if you can add that kick, you're going to add another dimension to that movement. And then once you get the legs, add the arms. So a right and a left, a right and a left with those arms pressing forward.
You have 20 seconds left, so let's try to bring up the intensity. A strong, powerful move here, everybody. Bring both feet together and keep the shoulders re relaxed and down. And what you're going to do is you're going to just hop both feet right and left, right and left. And as you go, I want you to make this move bigger. So bigger can mean a bigger, wider right and left, or it can mean a higher wide right and left. So you can add the optional knee tuck in the center if you want. So it can be more of a log jump if you wanted to. When you use those knees into the body, we're working our abdominals. It's a great way to strengthen your core. Keep going 15 more seconds and then we will have our first water break. Please press pause and get yourself a sip of water, take a wrist break, shake out those hands, and then come back when you're ready to get going again. Let's start doing an alternate knee drive up and angle it in. So bring it across your midline as you bring those buoys across your midline. So right and left, alternating those knees, driving them up. Set up with those buoys together on the left side and what you're going to do is scoop them across to the right side and as you do, drive the right knee up and then return to start. And when you do return to start, tap that foot down strong behind you. So we're trying to get our rotation skills here. So knee drive with rotation. Instead of tapping down, you can add additional intensity by pushing that foot back to the back of the pool. So when you push that foot back, you want to use your whole foot, not just the toes, not just the heel, the entire foot, like you're stamping your foot on the side of your pool. And when you do, keep a tall posture and do not arch the back. Let the glutes do the work for this one. All right, let's set up for our next move. We're going to bring both buoys together and bring them off to your right side. So you can hang them angled off to the right side. We're going to drive the left knee up. I want rotation with this one. So tall posture, drive the knee, and as you drive the knee, scoop the buoys across that leg. So as the knee comes up, the buoys come across, then you're going to tap down and you're going to return to start. Knee drive, tap down, knee drive, tap down. Remember, you can go right into that push back with the foot. Instead of tapping to the floor, push the foot behind you like you're stamping your foot on the side of the pool. Let's bring down our intensity again and bring the arms out to a T-shape with both buoys out to the right and left. 
And let's just do some pendulum legs. You're gonna lift the right leg out to the side, then the left leg, and you're just trying to reach the body. So here we're just trying to bring our heart rate down for a moment. Strong breath, and then we're gonna go back into it just very shortly. Let's make that pendulum stronger. And as you do, we're gonna start bending the arms. So you're gonna bend the right arm, then the left arm, right arm, then left arm. So it's a chest tap. So you're gonna to try to touch the chest with the booty on the right, then the left, as you're pendulum the legs. Now keep the shoulders relaxed and down. And you wanna to try to do this nice and strong with some quickness. Now, if you want to take a little of the intensity away in those arms and shoulders, bring the buoys upright so they're standing on end. If you want more intensity, those buoys are gonna be down with them completely in the surface of the water. We have 15 seconds. Plant both of those feet and plant them wide. Bring the buoys right into your chest. Relax the shoulders and elbows are out to the sides a bit. Now start turning your torso right and left, right and left. And you're gonna do it four times. And then on the fifth one, you're gonna punch across. So it's gonna be four, three, two, one, punch across and down. Four, three, two, one, punch across and down. Four, three, two, one, across and down. Now you should be using alternating arms as you punch across and down if you keep following that pattern. Your heart rate should be up and you should be feeling this one by now. You have about 10 seconds to go. Bring those buoys to the surface and let them just rest out in front of you. And then just alternate a gentle right and left hamstring curl behind you. So let your butt kick your right and left. It can be a little bounding or it can be alternating with no impact, slow and controlled, up to you. We're setting up for our next exercise. So I just want you to continue those butt kickers, but we're gonna change our rhythm. So we're gonna bring those hands in front of you and you're gonna start punching them down to the floor. So punching right and left as you continue to bring the heels up behind you. But what I want you to do is start thinking of this rhythm as single, single, double. Now single, single, double. So on the double, you're gonna punch two times to the floor and you're gonna do the opposite leg ham curl two times and then you're gonna single, single, two pulses. Single, single, two pulses. Let's work on that coordination. You have 20 seconds. Let's bring down the cardio, but amp up the toning. 
So wide arms out in a T shape to the sides. What you're going to do is start with your feet wide. So this is jack with a knee tuck. So jack, knee tuck, jack down. Then second time, jack, knee tuck, kick forward. Bring the knees in and then tack down. So jack, knee, jack down, jack, knee, push, jack down. Jack knee, jack down, jack knee, push, jack down. And then that push really strong with both feet pushing forward. Let's use those core those lower abdominal muscles. You've got about two more tries at this one. Did you figure out that move? Because I know it's a little bit more extra coordination involved in this one. Okay, let's go to bring those feet back down to the floor. And now let's go into just some heel digs. So you're going to stand tall, heel dig right, heel dig left. The heels are to the floor. Or if you want a little bit more, you're going to do a long leg lift right, a long leg lift left. This is going to just bring down our heart rate for a moment and prepare us for our next exercise. Let's stretch those hamstrings. Start bringing those long legs behind you now. So we're going into a ski. So when we do our ski, remember opposite arm forward as the other leg is forward. So right leg forward, left arm forward, left leg forward, right arm forward. And you're going to just hop to switch the feet. So keep on moving through. And I want you to really try to stretch the body. We want to use long limbs with this one. Really reaching through the toes, reaching through the hands. If you want to add some extra intensity, let's move around in a circle. So you can circle half of the circle or a complete circle around, depending on how fast you're moving. But we're going to add that turbulence to the water. It just makes it more challenging for us. Fifteen seconds. Bring yourself into a jog with the left foot forward a little bit more than the right. We did this one before. This is just setting us up for the rocking horse. So it's a right foot forward jog, so it's offset. And we're getting ready for our rocking horse. Now for this rocking horse, with that left foot forward, we're going to also keep the left arm elongated in front of us. Just hold the buoy out there in front of you. With the right arm, you're going to do a base up curl. So it's an arm curl. So as the knee comes up and does a hamstring curl, you're going to extend the arm, curl, extend the arm, and curl. Still that same rocking horse that we know and love, but we're just adding that arm curl on the opposite side. Hang tough, 20 seconds. Let's go back to our offset jog with the right foot forward. So again, you're just going to jog right foot forward and get yourself ready for that rocking horse. So with the right foot forward, also that right arm is forward and extended in front of you and you're going to curl that left arm as you do your rocking horse.
20 seconds. Bring it down a notch into a high knee jog and the buoys are out in front of you. Remember that good posture, shoulders relaxed and down. We're going to just work on those high knees here, but we're going to change up our tempo and our jog. We are moved into our last exercise here. One minute to go. I want you to start taking those buoys and pushing them forward, right, left, right, left, and then start thinking of a jog in a single, single hold. Single, single hold. As you do that, I want you to single, single hold the arms as well. And on that hold, really drive the elbow back. So a strong hold and pull the elbow back as you push the other arm forward. Make it strong, powerful. Really, really emphasize that. This is your last 30 seconds, so make it the best 30 seconds of today. Strong and powerful, everybody. Let's push through. You did it. Let's bring down the intensity because we're getting ready for our stretch. So just a gentle jog, hands out to the sides, relax the shoulders, bringing down your speed. So the tempo is down greatly. Just gentle. Think about bringing your body down into our warm down speed. And then from here, go ahead and plant those feet and just give me some squats. So just a knee bend, down and up, and then Gradually take those toes and point them outward and go into a plie squat down and up. You made it. Aren't you excited? I am. Now let's go into our stretch. For the stretch, you are welcome to keep the buoys in your hand. They're going to be valuable in helping you keep your buoyancy and to keep your balance here. So just start going into a T-shape with the arms and leaning to the right and to the left. And as you lean to the right, just let that left foot come up off the floor. You're just going to pendulum the legs. But this is a slow and controlled movement because this is a stretch. So we want to go through a full range of motion. Now keep a really tall posture with your wide feet and those arms out in your T-shape. Let's just turn your midsection. So turn your midsection and rotate through your torso. Your arms are just going to come like helicopter arms out to the side, to the right, to the left, and you're trying to use your hips. So you're going to pivot and turn, just opening up the chest muscles, opening up your midsection, using your hips. And again, it's a slow flowing movement. Only go to where your body feels comfortable. And when you feel like it, you need to stop and go into reverse, go ahead. But try to get as much range of motion as your body feels comfortable with. Let the buoys assist you in helping you find your balance. And then just take and bend your right leg as you left leg stays long and strong and you bring those left toes up and in. Now this is going to stretch the inner thigh plus it's going to also help stretch the calf muscles and we use those calf muscles a lot especially if you stayed up on tippy toes so you really want a good stretch. Hold a couple more seconds and then just shift your body weight into the opposite side. Again one side is bent the other leg is long and strong with the toes up.
bring your body so your torso faces to the right. You're going to hold the buoy in the left hand. Using your right hand, you're going to bring the arm out as that arm stays long, out with the palm facing to the sky, bring it back, open the chest, and then bring the palm with the face to the floor, back to meet in front. You're going to open, palm up, out, and open the chest muscles, and then bring it back in, palm down, bring it back in to meet the buoy in the front. And then just go ahead and stay with the buoys in front of you, and then you're going to bring the foot up behind you. Just do some strong hamstring curls, stretching out those muscles, and then stay up at the top and circle around the ankle. We want to get those ankles, make sure everything is all mobile and ready so you can get off and have a great day once you get out of the pool. Stay really tall, bring the arms out to a T-shape, and then just sit back into the hips as you bring your foot across and put it onto the knee. This is called your figure four. This is great for your hips. So just kind of sit down into it. If you've had hip replacement, keep the foot closer to the floor, just kind of crisscrossing at the ankles. And now just go ahead and let's face off into the other direction. And again, you're going to open the arm out to the side. You're going to try to look behind you too and then bring the hand back in, palm down, palm up as you open, opening the chest muscles and then bringing it back to the center. Strong breath. Keep both those buoys in front of you and then let's take that back leg and then lift and lower with a bend in the knee. And one more time and then you're going to stay up at the top and what you're going to do is just go ahead and circle the ankle around. So circle the ankle around. A few in each direction would be wonderful. And then what you're going to do is take that foot, bring it down, and crisscross your lap here. So cross at the knee and sit back into it for your figure four on the other side. Bring both feet to the floor, stand really tall, and then you're going to take your boobies and you're going to crisscross your hands in front. And I would like you to just do a forward fold, just so you push those hands out in front of you and open the shoulder blades. Now you're facing down towards the water, face is not in the water, you're just facing down to open the back muscles. And then go ahead and bring those buoys behind you. You're going to bring the palms to the sky and you're going to just let that open up the chest and the shoulders. Again, try to look forward, stay long and strong. We're moving to a tricep stretch and for this one you don't need the buoys so go ahead and just let them float on the surface. You're going to bring one arm up in behind you and you're just going to put a little pressure on the arm, the upper arm area. You can add a little bit more lean and a grab higher if you're more flexible or you'd like an additional stretch. Hold a few seconds and then let's go ahead and switch to the other side. return to a tall posture, bring those arms back down, and let's just do a few shoulder rolls up, back and down two or three times. And then bring your hands in front, open and close the hands a few times, and then some circles with the wrist. It's always good to do that. Thanks so much for joining me today. You guys are awesome and I love working out with you. Please support me by sharing my videos with your families and friends.